Okay, page 80, problem 9. Mr. Robbins spent one-fourth of his money on four similar keychains and eight similar plushies from a souvenir shop. The cost of each plushie is twice the cost of each keychain. He bought some more plushies with half of his remaining money. How many plushies did Mr. Robbins buy altogether? A well, plushie is basically just a soft toy. Okay, this problem is a higher order stack model. Uh, could be a little bit confusing, but follow and everything's gonna be fine. Right, so at first, what you do is you draw his total money, right? This is what you do, right? And you divide it because we operate with the fraction one over four, we divide it in four units. So, what did he do? He spent one fourth of his money. He spent this one unit, one fourth of his money. He spent on eight plushies, eight plushies, and four keychains, four keychains, right? <clears throat> so this is this is first thing. Uh, we're gonna come back to the second thing, to the second sentence. This the third sentence tells us that. He bought some more plushies with half of his remaining money. So this is the remainder. This is the remainder. How can we divide 3 into half, right? We need to th divide each unit again, like this. So now we have, now we see that this, again, 3 units, right? This is the half of remaining money. Now we operate not with the... Um, four units but with eight units because we, we just separated every unit into half right so now we think of this as of two units now let's think about this part they tell us that four similar keychains uh, and eight similar plushies were bought but the cost of a plushie is twice the cost of the of the keychain right so if cost of a plushie is twice the cost of the keychain it means the cost of eight plushies, eight plushies is the cost of twice, right? Sixteen keychains, keychains, right? So we want to forget about plushies. We want to think about like in terms of we think we want to think about off plushies uh, in terms of keychains, right? So now we have sixteen. We just represented our eight plushies as sixteen keychains. So this becomes sixteen keychains keychains right so this again all together now becomes 16 plus 4 20 keychains right we think of it so one unit uh, sorry this this two units this two units two units <coughs> are 20 keychains 20 keychains how much is one unit one unit is 10 right 20 divided by 2. 10 keychains. Keychains. How much how much is 3 units? How much how much did he buy? How many did he buy? 3 units, right? 3 these units that we marked. <coughs> 3 units is 10 times 3. 30 keychains. 30 keychains. Okay? Right, but he didn't buy keychains, right? He bought plushies with half of these are plushies. Plushies that he bought. So plushies are twice as exp as expensive, right, as keychains. So instead of thirty keychains, we want to know how many plushies. So thirty divided by two is fifteen. So thirty keychains. The the price the sorry. Let's like, like let's call it like this. The cost of thirty keychains is the cost of fifteen plushies. Plushies. Alright. And now we have it. We have our fifteen that he bought extra. And we have our eight that he bought initially. Fifteen plus eight, twenty-three. There you have it, there you answer. Mr. Robbins bought 23 plushies altogether. Okay, problem 10. 
A pail can hold 3.4 liters of water. We got this. Hazel filled two ninths of a tub with four such pails of water. Rena poured in another four such pails and two similar tanks of water to fill the tub completely. How much water can a tank hold? Okay, again, this is a remainder concept with parts and holes. So there is a tub, right? And there is a total water, how much it can hold. So we know that two ninths of a tub can be filled with four pails. And that's what we do. We draw our nine units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, right? <clears throat> so two, two over nine, two ninths of a tub, of the whole tub, can be uh, filled with four pails, four pails, right? So Rena poured in another four of such pails, another four of such pails, Another four pails were poured, right? And then what happened? And then she put two similar tanks of water and filled the tub completely. She put two tanks of water and the tub was completely full, right? This is what we do. Uh, we also know from the first sentence that uh, one pail, one pail, can hold 3.4 liters of water, right? So we have our four units, four units. So we want to know how much the four units, four units, and four units, which uh, we can see right from here, is four pails plus four pails, total of eight pails. So we know that one pail is 3.4 liters times how many pails? We have eight of them. So four units is 27.2 liters of water, right? From here, we calculate one unit. How much is one unit? We take our 27.2 divided by four, oh, sorry, <laughs> divided by four, and we get 6.8 liters. This is our one unit, right? Now they're asking us how much water can a tank hold? We're calculating this five units. Five units is 6.8 uh, times five, which is 34 liters, right? And because there were two tanks of water, right? We take this 34 liters, we divide it by two tanks, and we get 17 liters. So this is your answer. A tank can hold 17 liters of water.